Hello friends, this video on basic concepts of chemistry part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 6. Now we'll talk about a critical topic in chemistry that is called uncertainty in measurement. Mostly used in the lab when you are doing experiments and chemistry is all about experiments. So this is a critical topic. So if you see in chemistry, we study atoms and molecules which are very, which have extremely low mass. The mass is very low and the numbers are huge. For example, you can say that these many molecules are present in 2 grams of hydrogen. So if you see, there are so many zeros. Or the mass of 1 gram of hydrogen is 0 0.000000, so many zeros, 16 grams. So you see, we are dealing with huge numbers like this or small, such a small number like this. So the possibility of making an error is very high. Right, so and that's why we talk about the uncertainties measure because measuring such a huge quantity is not that easy, measuring such a small quantity is also not that easy. Right, to solve this problem, what these guys have done, scientific uh, community, they have come up with something called exponential notation. For example, this guy can be represented into 6.02 into 10 to the power all the zeros. For example, if you see n into 10 to the power n is the general formula you have. And this, this guy can be represented in this fashion. This guy also can be 1.66 into 10 to the power minus some value will come depending on the number of zeros. So it is easy to uh, write also because writing these many zeros is difficult, right? So, but writing this guy 6.02 into 10 to the power, let's suppose this gives x is easy than writing this, this value. So they came up with the scientific notation of exponential notation where you can write big number or small number in this fashion where n can vary from. Uh, 1 to 10 negative or positive that means it can vary from minus 10 to plus 10 correct when you talk about uncertainty measurement we should also talk about precision and accuracy so for every experiment we have some amount of uncertainty associated with it correct but we would like our experiment to be best, right? We want everything to be precise and accurate. So what is precision? What is accuracy? We usually talk about these terms, precision and accuracy. Let's understand what is this topic. Precision refers to the closeness of various experiments of same kind. And accuracy is nothing but how close it is to the true value. So for precision, I don't care about true value. I don't care. But for accuracy, I care about true value. For example, I'll take this scenario for you. So let's suppose the true value is 3. That is, the output has to be 3. So these four guys have done the experiment. Ramesh, Suresh, Rohit, Rakesh. This guy, for this guy, the first output is 2.8. The second output is 3. And the mean this guy has taken is 2.9. Now, if you see 2.8 and 3, there's a huge difference, right? Point difference. That means they are not even precise. Correct? And if you take the mean, the mean is 2.9, but the actual value is 3. So they are not even accurate. So when I'm talking about accuracy, I'm talking about how close this guy is to the accurate value. Accurate value is 3 and it is not close. Sure is this guy. This guy has done the experiment. In first experiment, he found 2.91 and then he found 2.90. If you see, both of these are almost nearby, right? So I can say that they are precise. Yes. See, for precise, I told that the closeness of the output. I'm not bothered about the true value also now, but I'm seeing that both are close and then I can say that they're precise. But I, when I found the mean, it came out to be 2.905 and I see it is far from this value 3, I can say it is not accurate. Correct? This precise because my results are, all the results are coming almost same, but it is not near the true value. So it is precise, but not accurate. This guy Rohit, he found 3.01 and 2.99. He got the mean of 3. So if you see these values, 2.9 and 3.01, they are also close. So they are precise. Yes. Is it accurate? For accurate, I have to check this guy with the actual value. The actual value was 3. So if you see that, they are almost same. In fact, they are same. I can say that this is accurate also. For more like a Rakesh, this guy did the experiment. In first, he found 2.90. The next, he found 3.10. There is a huge difference in these two results, right? Point to difference. That means they are not precise. The results are not precise. But if you take mean, you get 3. And 3 is almost, in fact, equal to the 
actual value. So I can say it's accurate, but it is not precise. So I hope with this you understood what is the difference between precise and accuracy. For precision, I don't care about the true value. I only care about the closeness of the various output. In this case, my output were close, they are precise. In this case, output were close, they are precise. But for accuracy, I don't care about the closeness. I care only about the final value. Did you get the final answer? Yes. If you get final answer, you are accurate, right? If you are not getting final answer, that means you are not accurate. You say also, right, in, in, in the English terms, you say, you should be precise. That means whatever you do, you do with care and you make sure that all the results you get are almost same, right? That means I'm talking about precision. I'm not talking about accuracy now. When I'm talking about accuracy, I'm saying that the moment I talk about accuracy, there's a target and you have to match the target. Then you're accurate. Correct. So I hope you understand. When you talk about precision, you're not at all bothered about the output uh, target. You just about about how close the answers are, right? They are all similar, right? You're getting 2.91, 2.90, 2.90, 2.91, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 2.90, 